So we're presenting the event model canvas for the first time in North America after the launch in Turkey, Istanbul at the European Meetings and Events Congress, where we shared the story of how the event model canvas came to be. And uh, Rolf Frisse and myself are uh, delighted to now bring and share the story with our colleagues here at World Education Congress in Minneapolis. We're eager to find out. Here we're going to launch the actual the why, how and what and putting into practice how the event model canvas works. Um, it's been test driven by a number of meeting owners already in North America. Um, but this is the first time that in public people at the conference will be able to um, um, not just familiarize themselves with the concepts behind it, but actually get their hands dirty and uh, put it into practice with teams of people. We're going to have a master class, uh, an actual introduction, uh, introductory workshop, I shouldn't say master class, um, because it's a three and a half hour program accredited through the meeting and event design um, uh, for, for, C, for CEU credits. And um, the, um, we're eager to find out how the audience will react and will start applying uh, the design principles behind the event model canvas. Rul and I came with an initiative to develop a visual language for meetings and events. And what's very critical for us is for people that are involved in the event, whether it be the meeting owner or the event planner, for them to be able to articulate how the event creates value and visualize that on one sheet of paper. Now in practice, that means that you need to really drill it down and simplify it to something that's very quick and easy to, to do. And simplifying is not easy, we know that much. Um, what it does is it helps you to prototype. So prototyping event designs with different inputs from different people and doing it as a team and have a sensible conversation about the event, that's the critical um, mission that we're on. And visualizing, you know, people, we live in a visual world. It's a, it's a world of infographics and video. Um, people don't read the white papers anymore. So we really have to visualize how events create value and visualize the prototypes of events. We're very excited to, um, to be sharing this. The, the MPI community was very fruitful in breeding where um, the relationships came into play for us to actually be able to do the thinking behind it and put together the event model canvas. And this is, you know, we feel privileged to be able to share it with this MPI community. Um, languages, as you know, are very diverse. Uh, in Europe, we have many different languages, uh, but we're also applying this in Asia and Africa. And now in North America, uh, we know that many of the native speakers, the language issue is not necessarily the biggest issue, but understanding the meaning of each word and translating that into a visual can be critical when communicating your plans to people from different geographic origins.